welcome at where you're joining us from. Uh, welcome to day two of the fiscal year 2021 biologic workshop. For those of you that are joining for the first time, I'll be the facilitator for this event. I'm Mary Braswell, the Agriculture Operations Director for U.S. Customs and Border Protection out of the Houston Field Office. As you know, as you may know, this event is being co-hosted by Texas A&M. So I will turn the floor over to Ms. Jenny Ligon, who's with Texas A&M University's Cross-Border Threat Screening and Supply Chain, DHS Center of Excellence. Jenny, you have the floor. Thank you, Mary. Happy to see everyone here today. We had um, a great first day yesterday um, with the biologic workshop and today we're going to have a um, an j just as um, impressive lineup of speakers to hopefully help everyone be able to import export their biologic products um, much more successfully. Um, I just wanted to kind of do a quick run through. I am the Director of Education of the Cross-Border Threat Screening and Supply Chain Defense Center of Excellence within Department of Homeland Security. Um, we are going to um, be hearing from after me, Brad Skinner with um, Customs and Border Protection's Houston Field Office. Then we will hear from Thomas Kramer with Centers for Disease Control, Michael Valenzuela with U.S. Food and Drug Administration, Emily Periachi with Centers for Disease Control, and then Christopher Ford with Federal Bureau of Investigations. We'll take a break and then we will listen to Stuart Streck with Department of Transportation. And then we will hear from George Emerson and Sean Smith with U.S. Customs and Border Protection. Um, George, if you would not mind sharing my slides, I want to give everyone a, a brief overview of, um, of our Center of Excellence and share a bit more about what we um, what we do. So thank you so much, sir. Can you go to the next slide? The focus of our specific center of excellence, and there's about a dozen centers of excellence across the United States with different academic institutions, but ours is specifically focused on biological threats and hazards that can potentially impact not only the well-being of Department of Homeland Security, enterprise personnel and frontline personnel, but also threats that can impact our citizens, our um, plants and animals, uh, and have a major impact on our economy and infrastructure. Um, so what we want to try to do is put together novel research, um, training programs that can help prepare our frontline personnel, and also um, you know, offer a resource to figure out mechanisms that can um, you know, add value to the supply chain, um, you know, diminish um, the timelines to be able to get things through the supply chain, but also keeping everybody safe. And so our focus is definitely at ports of entry and our borders, um, it, particularly land, air and sea. And, um, you know, we do focus on everything from uh, human health, animal health, plant health, uh, insects. You can imagine all of these biologic things that can come across our border on a given day. So next slide, George. So, um, you know, this is our values, mission and vision for our center. Um, but basically what we are striving to do is to work in collaboration with the Department of Homeland Security to deliver solutions and processes and enhance capabilities to support their operations um, designed to counter threats and secure our nation without compromising commercial enterprise. And that's the big thing here is just, like I said, streamlining that supply chain while also maintaining the safety of our personnel. Um, we want to improve the national capacity to prevent, prepare for, and detect, and respond to, and recover from biological threats within the global supply chain networks. George, next slide. So these are the four pillars of our operations. Like I said, I am in charge of education and workforce development. We also want to develop novel tools and technology. Um, we also have a major focus on supply chain defense efforts, and we also perform systematic risk assessments um, with a variety of uh, Homeland Security Enterprise um, audiences, particularly, as you can tell from this hosting of this event, we work very, very closely with Customs and Border Protection um, and um, and have a couple of projects that we, we've been working on with them. We've been a center for, I think, our director yesterday stated about three and three and a half years. Um, so we're but, but um, we do um, engage Minority serving institutions and summer research teams and students to try to help fill the pipeline of the Homeland Security Enterprise. Next slide, George. 
So just a little introduction about our team. Dr. Greg Pompelli is our director. He spoke yesterday. Um, Dr. Heather Manley is our executive director. Dr. Matt Cochran is our research director. I'm education director. And then Chris Scamardo is our program manager and assistant director of finance. Next slide. This is just a brief snapshot of some upcoming events that we have. Um, I'll let you, um, I'll pause for a bit just in case you want to write anything down, but on our website um, at um, cbts.tamu, it's on the next slide, you'll see it, our cbts.tamu.edu, I believe is what it is. Um, you can find all of our events that are upcoming. Um, we, we, this is our biologic workshop. We have our um, Center of Excellence Summit coming up in May. Um, we have an annual meeting that's coming up on May 25th, and then we do have a series of seminars that we um, perform and distinguished speaker series, and those are all updated on our social media. Um, we do have a border health workshop that's coming up as well, and this is by invitation only. Um, if you are interested, um, please email our main um, uh, inbox that's right there, cbts at ag.tamu.edu. And George, next slide. This is where you can connect with us. So our website is in fact cbts.tamu.edu. There's our email address. Um, we, um, I, yes, absolutely. I'm looking at comments coming in. We will, we will be able to share these presentations with the participants so that you can um, kind of uh, recap everything that you learn about today. Uh, there's all of our social media links. Um, most of the time, just look for cbts underscore tamu and you can find us. And next slide, George. We just want to let everybody know we're open for business. I know we have a lot of um, Department of Homeland Security. We have a lot of federal agencies participating on this event today. So reach out to us um, if there's something that's within that realm, it's particularly Department of Homeland Security um, that is uh, dealing with biologic threats and protecting our supply chain and our borders. Um, we are open for business. So um, that's all I have. I'm excited to have you all here today. Let's learn a lot of great stuff. Um, and um, if you want to reach me, you can reach me at that primary email address uh, at CBTS. I'll be checking that inbox. Thanks so much, everyone. Thank you, Ms. Lee. And our next speaker will be uh, Mr. Brad Skinner, the Assistant Director for the Field Office for, for the Houston Field Office. 